Good day, learners! Welcome back for another visual lesson with Ms. Lillian. For today's lesson, we are going to discuss about how to solve and represent quantities in real-life situations using algebraic expressions and equations. Before we go through our lesson, let us have a quick review on our previous lesson. Write an algebraic equation on the blank for the following phrases. Number 1, 5 plus a number is 10. So the keyword here is plus, meaning we need to use addition, and a number, meaning we can use any letter from the alphabet. 5 plus a number is 10. Is is pertaining to equals. So 5 plus a number. So let me use S is 10. 5 plus S is equal to 10. Number 2, a number divided by 8 makes 2. A number, uulitin ko, pwede tayong gumamit ng any letter from the alphabet. Divided by makes pertaining to equal sign. So, a number x divided by 8 is equal to 2. Or we can also write this using fraction bar. X over 8 is equal to 2. Number 3, trice of a number will be 30. A number, then trice meaning 3, will be pertaining to equal. Tries of a number, ibig sabihin, this is multiplication. Tries of a number, so y is equal to 30. Number 4, the difference of 25 and a number is equal to 9. Difference meaning we have to use subtraction. A number, again, pwede tayong gumamit ng any letter from the alphabet, is equal to, so equal symbol or equal sign, so 25 minus a number, let's say M, is equal to 9. Number 5, twice of a number, twice of a number pertaining to multiplication, increased by, pertaining to addition, 6 makes, makes pertaining to equal symbol, 24. So, twice of a number, 2n, increased, so addition, by 6 is equal to 24. Again, in the steps in translating verbal expressions or equations into letters or symbols and vice versa. Step 1, you have to look for the keywords in what operation to be used. Step 2, assign a variable for the unknown number. Step 3, arrange the variable constant and operation in proper order based on the given problem to form algebraic expression or equation. And here are the keywords again in translating phrases that you should remember. In addition, we have some plus more than added to increased by. In subtraction, we have minus subtracted from difference of less than decreased by less 
in multiplication, we have product twice times multiplied by of. In division, we have divided by quotient ratio divided into and in equals, we have is makes answer is the same as. Now, let us move to our lesson. Solve and represent quantities in real-life situations using algebraic expressions and equations. Activity 1. Jason is 9 years older than his sister. Write an algebraic expression to show the age of Jason. So, kung tatagalugin natin ito, si Jason daw ay mas matanda ng 9 years sa kanyang kapatid na babae. So, we are going to write an algebraic expression para maipakita natin ang age ni Jason. First is we have to identify the unknown quantity and assign variable to represent it. The unknown quantity is the age of Jason. So, yun yung ating hahanapin. Let S will be the variable for the age of his sister. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, we can use any variable or letter from the alphabet in representing the unknown. So, dito, since yung sister ay nag-start sa S, we can use S for the variable. Next, we have to look for the keywords in what operation to be used. The keyword here is older, which tells us that the operation is addition. And last, let us arrange the variable, constant, and operation in proper order based on the given problem to form algebraic expression. So, since meron na tayong S for the age of his sister, and alam na natin kung ano yung operation na gagamitin natin, which is addition. At nakalagay dyan, 9 years older. So ngayon, ang expression para sa age ni Jason ay S plus 9. Ibig sabihin, edad ng kanyang kapatid na babae plus 9 years that will be the age of Jason. Activity 2 Kira has 127 books in her collection. Her school is hosting a book donation. How many books does Kira needed to collect if she wants to donate 300 books? Write an algebraic equation to show how many books does Kira needed collect. Again, let us identify the unknown quantity and assign variable to represent it. So, the unknown quantity is the number of books Kira needed to collect. So, yun yung nawawala kung ilan ba or ilan pang libro ang kailangan i-collect ni Kira. And let P will be the variables for the books Kira needed to collect. So, gumamit ako ng B para i-represent yung ating books. And next, look for the keywords in what operation to be used. The keyword collect tells us that the operation will be addition. And next, let us arrange the variable constant and operation in proper order based on the given problem to form algebraic equation. So our equation now will be 127 plus ilan pa yung kailangan i-collect ni Kira, which is B, is equal to, para makabuo daw ng 300. So, in equation, we can solve for this unknown variable. So, pwede nating alamin kung ilang ba yung total na kailangan pang kolektahin ni Kira. So, to solve that, let us write B dito sa ating kaliwa or left side of the equation equals 300 
So, ilipat natin or itranspose natin si 127 papunta dito sa kanan. So, since dito ay positive siya, pag nilipat natin siya dito sa kanan, magiging siyang negative. So, magiging minus 127. Uulitin ko sa equation, we have two sides of the equation. The left side and the right side. So, dito ang left side natin ay 127 plus B. Ang ating right side ay 300. Once na naglipat ka sa kabilang side ng equation, maiiba na rin ang kanyang sign. So, now let us find the unknown books. So, 300 minus 127 is equal to 73. So, ang kailangan pang kolektahin ni Kira ay 73 books. Learners, take note of this. The purpose of solving an algebraic expression in an equation is to find the unknown variable. When two expressions are equated, they form an equation and therefore it becomes easier to solve for the unknown terms. Next, let us move to Activity 3. Renz and Kim receive packages containing books. Renz receives 5 packages that contains 12 books in each box. On the other hand, Kim receives 6 packages. How many books does each box contain in Kim's package if they receive the equal number of books? Again, let us identify the unknown quantity and assign variable to represent it. So the unknown quantity number of books in each box of Kim's package. And next, let K is the variable for Kim's book. So, ang nawawala dito at ang hahanapin natin ay kung ilang libro ba ang nasa box or bawat box ng kay Kim's na package. And next, let us look for the keywords in what operation to be used. So, the keyword in each which tell us the operation is multiplication. The keyword have the equal number tells us that we will use equal sign. Now, let us write the equation. So, since... Ang given natin dito ay si Renz ay nakareceive ng 5 packages na may 12 books in each box. So, i-multiply lang natin yun. So, 5 times 12. At sabi, yung nareceive ni Renz ay equal sa nareceive ni Kim. Which is unknown yung bilang ng mga libro sa bawat box. So, may anin na packages na nareceive si Kim times sa bilang na mga libro sa bawat box. Which is, yun yung hahanapin natin. So, gumamit ako ng shaded circle para i-represent yung multiplication na operation. So, hindi ako gumamit ng X as a symbol of multiplication to avoid confusion. Since nasa algebra tayo, we are using variable or letters in representing the unknown. So, si x ay ginagamit na natin as variable. So, pwede rin tayong gumamit dito ng open and close parentheses. So, pwede rin natin isulat ang equation na to as 5 using the open and close parentheses. 5 times 12 is equal to 6 times k. So, pwede rin po yan to represent the multiplication operation. So, now let us find the unknown which is the number of books in each box sa package ni Kim. So, 5 times 12 is 60. 6 times k 
is 6K. So, pinagtatabi lang po yung number or numerical sa variable which is yung literal coefficient. So, to find the value of K, we need to divide both sides of the equation by 6 to eliminate 6. So, matatanggal na si 6 because 6 divided by 6 is equal to 1, 1 times k. So, matitira na lang po ay si k. Which is equal to 60 divided by 60 is equal to 10. Meaning, there are 10 books in each box na nareceive ni Kim na anim na packages. So that's all for today's video. So don't forget, these are the steps to solve involving different numerical expressions and equations. Step 1, identify the unknown quantity and assign variable to represent it. Step 2, look for the keywords and what operation to be used. Step 3, find some quantity that can be expressed in two different ways and write an equation. Step 4. Solve the equation. Place the variables on one side and the constant on the other side. The variables can be isolated by applying arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, square root, cube root, and etc. Step 5. Interpret your solution to answer the question in the problem. Sabi nga ni Paul Hamels, the only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. Goodbye learners!